how to mount the UGIS program using Scratch on the Raspberry Pi. So before we get started, just out of curiosity, how many of you guys have never been to the Akron Linux Using Group before? Welcome, it's great to have you guys. Thanks for coming out. I want to thank everybody for coming out, especially for the Hamlet Moment 14, because we just wrap it off the pod. So you rock. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to give an overview of the Raspberry Pi. Um, we're going to watch a short video. I'm going to introduce you guys to Scratch and do a quick demo. I'm going to show you guys the references, so where you can find th things such as the Raspberry Pi Educator's Guide. If you have any questions, we can do a QA and and the call to action. So the Raspberry Pi is a $35 computer. It has an ARM based processor, so that means that its processor is more like the kind of you would find in a cell phone or a tablet compared to a laptop or desktop computer. <laughs> it's a small compact computer, so that means that it's really, really small. In fact, the Raspberry Pi is the size of credit card. So I'm going to pass this one around so you guys can take a closer look at it. And you can get a Raspberry Pi from Element 14 or Micro Center. And the Raspberry Pi is low power, which makes it great for running, for doing all sorts of wacky projects. I mean, I saw this guy on YouTube the other day, and he created a Raspberry Pi powered dog feed treating dog treat feeding machine. <laughs> so every time he emailed his Raspberry Pi, it would dispense a dog treat for his dog. <laughs> 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 the Raspberry Pi also runs Linux. So this is what the Raspberry Pi looks like. This is I'm just gonna walk up here and test your more easily. This is the Ethernet port, so if you wanted to connect it to a wired network. These are the USB ports, so if you wanted to plug in a mouse or a keyboard. These are the the status LEDs, so you know if the Pi has power or if it's connected to the internet or if it's reading or writing. This is the audio jack, so if you wanted to connect it to your stereo system. This is the RCA video port, which is really low quality video compared to the HDMI video port, which is right here. And then on the opposite side of the Pi, right around here, is the SD card slot. And this is where you plug in the micro, micro USB power slot. So in case you're thinking, Oh, I just need to pay $35 and I'll have a cool little computer. It's not exactly quite like that. <laughs> Raspberry Pi doesn't come with like a power with a power cord or a case. It's just the little circuit board. So you're gonna need a case, a monitor with HDMI, so like a TV, a four gigabyte or larger SD card, a micro USB power supply, which is just a really fancy way of saying cell phone charger, <laughs> a USB mouse and keyboard and a USB Wi-Fi Wi-Fi. You're also going to want a powered USB hub because there's so many USB devices that A, you're going to run out of cords rather quickly, and B, you, all the USB devices are drawing power away from the processor because the Raspberry Pi only uses around 2 watts. Your Pi might start to behave erratically. So there's a lot of different operating systems you can use on the Raspberry Pi. Most of them are Linux. None of them are Windows. <laughs> and Fedora is a Fedora, these are the two my dad and I have messed around with. So Fedora is a Fedora remix, so if you use Fedora on your regular laptop, then it'd be pretty cool to try it out on the Pi. And Raspbian is one that when people, is the operating system that when people write books about the Raspberry Pi, they usually use Raspbian because it has themes as well as Scratch and Python on it. So my dad, my, my dad used the games part of the Raspberry Pi to get me into the Pi because I really like playing games and probably a lot of other people here do as well. So I started messing around with the Raspberry Pi and the games and I started getting into Scratch because it was an easy way to learn the fundamentals and the basics. So and the Raspberry Pi on the Math Unit also has Python, so once you're done with Scratch, you can move on to Python and you can actually and do more of the actual coding, like writing stuff out as opposed to just cooking, as opposed to just cooking and dragging. So I'm gonna play a quick video. <laughs> 